FNCS Major One is all wrapped up, and seven duos claimed the Axe of Champions. How did they do that? Let's find out. In NA East, we saw a duo fight from moment one to take home the Axe of Champions. Acorn and Cold have been playing consistently from the beginning of the chapter, bringing in incredible placements, getting third and first in Chapter 4 League Cups. But with all eyes on Buga and Peterbot challenging them in the first major of 2023, they knew they had a lot to prove, especially after losing the offspawn battle in Week 1 of FNCS. With the weight of the world on their shoulders, they defied the odds and took home the NA East Grand Finals FNCS win in the first global championship spot for the region. Over on NA West, we saw the young team of Bolts and Thoric enter their first FNCS challenge of 2023. They started off hot on day one where the duo averaged 55 points per game and finished the day in first place. Day two, however, they faced more of a challenge while other teams really stepped up the pace to fight for the title. The duo were able to consistently find important eliminations while struggling to place well in some games. But because of these essential eliminations, Bolts and Thoric were able to come out on top at a photo finish by four points to call themselves the FNCS Major One Champions and book their ticket to the Global Championship later this year. Now it's time to talk about the sensational duo taking over EU, Tayson and Mustache. Wow, what an incredible performance in day two. Placing top 10 in all six games, Tayson truly showed out with his undeniable clutch factor, getting them the last point they needed to place first, with Thomas HD and Malabuka being only one point behind. This is the closest gap in any region for Major One. As a duo, Tayson and Mustache got a total of 21 eliminations in day one, but in day two, they secured 21 in just the first three games. Absolutely crazy. The improvements they made by honing in their play style mid-game made for a powerful performance. Staying consistent and playing extremely effectively together has planted them in the global championship. They really deserve it because of the immense amount of effort they've put in this season. Congrats, guys. Next up, it's OCE. Sons and Anon came out flying in day one, finishing in first place with a 39-point lead. Their day two was slightly more awkward, however, as they struggled to replicate the consistency that we saw from them in day one. This put them in third place overall and a whole 65 points behind the top spot going into the final game. This meant they needed a huge game 12 in order to catch up, and they certainly delivered. An 8 elimination second place was enough to overtake Volks and Looter in first and also enough to claim that Axe of Champions and to guarantee their spot in the FNCS Global Championships. It's no surprise that Grand Finals weekend for the Middle East delivered a treasure trove of nail-biting drama. Earlier in the competition, both Asia and OCE concluded with its day one leaders capitalizing on their advantage and securing the Axe of Champions, but this region had a different ending up its sleeve. QNDX and Rapid were 186 points behind the top spot going into day two, but it didn't stop them turning the Chapter 4 Major 1 Finals on its head. They sent shockwaves rippling throughout the lobby across games 10 through 12, with 19 eliminations, two victory royales, and a third place finish. Combined with their second place in the first game of the day, it marked the biggest comeback from behind across finals weekend and catapulted them over the finish line to claim the illustrious title, giving Rapid back-to-back -back championship wins and presenting QNTX with his first ever FNCS victory. Go on, lads! メジャーワンアジア地区の王者に君臨したのはザゴーペポノディオグランドファイナルデイワンは平均順位5位32エリミネートを獲得2位と108ポイントの差をつけ圧倒的な強さを見せつけますデイツーでは苦戦を強いられるもその強さは健在勝負を決定づけたのはマッチエイトハイグランドを占領したザゴーペポはアジア地区最多タイの11エリミネートで他の敵を圧倒します他チームを寄せつけない強さを見せつけた彼らは最終マッチ12を終える頃には50エリミネート685ポイントまで伸ばし見事グローバルチャンピオンシップへの切符を獲得しました。As grandes finais da FNCS foram imprevisíveis como em todas as etapas. Os jogadores abusaram do martelo criativamente para conseguir vitórias e eliminações em diversas partidas, tanto no primeiro dia quanto no segundo. Mas foi no segundo dia que a dupla PHzinho e Kitos passou de um discreto nono lugar para o topo da classificação. 
E por mais incrível que pareça, sem nenhuma vitória Royale, porém com uma consistência absurda, chegando no top 5 em 4 das 6 partidas no segundo dia. Depois de distúrbios da tempestade dando a cara para decidir partidas, milhares de marteladas para rotacionar e finais de partidas emocionantes, a dupla terminou o campeonato com 538 pontos, 19 pontos acima dos vice-campeões Red Lee e Scarpa. E assim coroamos PHzinho e Quitos como os campeões da FNCS Major 1 e os primeiros representantes para a FNCS Major Global na Dinamarca. A gente se vê numa próxima FNCS. Até lá! Congratulations again to all the duos who now hold the Axe of Champions. The next time we'll see you is in Major Number 2. And as always, we'll see you on that Battle Bus.